Good evening, everybody. This is Kay Aubrey Shemaine. I'm the owner and director of Grand Adventures Ranch, the Holistic Equine Wellness Center in Sonoida, Arizona. And this is our Always Shine Your Light, our weekly education uh, series where we talk about equine energy points, light therapy, and photopuncture, which is acupuncture with light. And this week, we're going to talk about the happy hat and why horses love it so much and why it is so necessary. So the pole cap or pole therapy cap, or it's gone by a few different names, is a neoprene cap that puts red light directly into the areas around the horse's ears, the pole of the horse. And this helps to treat the muscles and ligaments and attachments, as well as the energy points that are in and around the horse's pole. A typical treatment is maybe 20 minutes, though the, for some of us that do a lot of therapy, every time we're doing a photopuncture session, we just put a happy hat on every time anyway throughout the entire session because it keeps the horses relaxed and it helps so much at one of the most fragile areas of the horse and because it calms the horse. So this is looking down from above the horse. We can see that very narrow area right behind the jaw all the way up to the top of the cranium. And this area is very susceptible to physical stresses. It also may be the most undertreated area of the body. Lots of people have their horses get chiropractic or massage. And often they, they may adjust the neck as it were, but they don't really treat the pole. And by what I what I mean by that is they don't come in and treat these areas right up behind the ears. More often the chiropractor is focused back here, which is good, okay? But you see where all these, these muscles attach is right up here behind the ear. And relaxing that can make a huge difference to the quality of life for that horse. Plus all of the muscles coming up from the jaw for TMJ also attach right here under the ear. So treating that area can be incredibly important. Excuse me while I switch pens. All right. So lots of different chiropractic stressors can cause subluxations. And a subluxation is just a chiropractic misalignment of two or more vertebrae, okay, so down the spine of the horse. And subluxations put a lot of uh, pressure on the nerves, they disrupt the, the messages that go along the spinal cord, and they also disrupt the energy or the chi that flows along the body. And we're going to look at that in a few minutes. Some of the things that cause this are any kind of torque that happens to the cervical vertebra often from struggling against a tied rope or maybe being tied into a trailer and the brakes get slammed on and the horse ends up turking their neck. Uh, sudden jerks on the reins. Horse is going in a straight line and all of a sudden somebody pulls on from one side or the other. Even being forced to carry their head incorrectly in some idea that, that is really a wrong idea of what proper uh, carriage of the horse, what a horse should go with, many horses are forced to bend their head at the pole as opposed to between C1 and C2. And that can also cause really major chiropractic stress. The pole is actually a big bottleneck for energy flow or chi flow. We can see here in this picture that we have each one of these different little uh, um, abbreviations, BL is bladder, GB gallbladder, TH triple heater, all of these different energetic meridians, which are energy pathways that flow through the body, they all are affected in some way by traveling through the pole into the face. All of the yang meridians, each meridian is in a pair, it has a yin and a yang. The yang is considered the more male, the more outward of the two meridians, bladder, gallbladder, stomach, large intestine, small intestine, triple heater, and governing vessel. These are all meridians that are considered 
yang, and they all have a yin sister. So when you affect the yang meridian, you affect its sister, the yin meridian. Well, all six of the major yang meridians plus the governing vessel, all of them travel through that very tight area around the pole into the head. And that means that every energy flow in the body is affected by the pole. Some of the most important points that we see here that are affected are right up here, right where I was saying, right behind the ears. The governing vessels 16 and 20, which are right down the midline, very important for calming, for mental clarity, for bringing energy up into the body. Bladder 10 and gallbladder 20 on either side there, those highly affect the structure and the, all of the attachment of those muscles right there from the TMJ all the way to the muscles running up the neck. So again, both chiropractically and for energy flowing through the body, we see huge things just coming in in that narrow spot right behind the ears. So how does a happy hat make a horse happy? Well, in addition to just relaxing the neck and make it feel better, and those of us who have ever had a tight neck know how much we feel better when we get some relief. It treats three specific points, the governing vessel 20, 24, and yin tang, which is that point right between the eyes, the third eye. All of those points are affected by the happy hat, puts light directly into them. And that helps increase circulation to the area, increase flow of chi, and greatly calms the horse almost dramatically. Within minutes of putting the, horse, the, the hat on, we see the horse yawning, stretching, often peeing. The geldings will drop their penis and relax. So this is a very typical horse after a treatment with a happy hat. <laughs> As you can see, he's very relaxed. So when do we use a happy hat? We use it before and after therapy sessions, during. We use it anytime we have strenuous exercise, before or after. We use it whenever we have a horse that's nervous or upset, especially during therapy, but maybe just we're going to be going to a new place or new conditions have this horse stressed. I love having my the, the responses come back from customers when they've used it, when they've first teaching a horse how to collect correct, correctly and they need more flexibility at the pole. The horses don't tighten up. They're able to bring their hindquarters under. They love using that happy hat before and after. During sheath cleaning, many geldings will just relax and drop and it can help with the whole process and keep them calmer. And then of course with any treatment for lameness because what many people don't recognize is that Chiropractic problems at the pole or even energy flow blockages at the pole can be one of the primary reasons for lameness in any of the feet. So hind quarter or four quarter lameness can come from a blockage at the pole. So it's just tonight was a very quick one. We're going to answer some questions and so on, but I just want to introduce people to the pole cap or otherwise known as the happy hat. This is what it looks like. It's $550, and I've used one for over a decade, so they last a long time. They're very, very much worth the investment. You can find it at our website at photopuncture.com, or you can go straight to this um, URL.